Hello and welcome, Jimmy Cube here in Australia. Um, I'm actually doing a little test, but I thought I'd put my camera on because if it turns out something fantastic, I've got it recorded for myself, but also to show you guys. I was playing with some paints, just doing the simple um, primary colors, more or less and just the swipe was only with black um, and I love that webbing effect in in very basic cover colors so I'm gonna do the, they're going to be some warm minky colors but I'm going to see what I can get doing a similar kind of pour so it's a test but with completely different colors <clears throat> So I have some pre-made up paints that I have sitting here. So I have the sand, which was pre-made up that I've left in this container. And I had the metallic bronze. And then I have, this was the custom color on makeup. I call it champagne. It's 50% gold and 50% silver. And it makes this absolutely adorable, adorable bubble. Um, champagne colour. So I'm only going to use those colours so let's get to it and I'm going to instead of doing like the wiggles like I normally wiggle my paint everywhere I'm going to actually puddle pour it. Pour it in puddles and see how we go. So very it may be a dud or it, it may be a winner winner chicken dinner or it may be a a duddy dud duds whatever you call them whatever the kids are calling them nowadays radio so that's my nice champagne color which i do love it's very nice radio i'm gonna add the dark of the uh, metallic bronze next <coughs> these puddles all over the place got puddles all over the place this may not work at all so you won't get to see the video if it well I suppose I should show it either way but I just wanted to run the camera for my testing so there you go you get to come along i'm going to add some white in that so it has got the extra color of white so i'll add white in each duvalaki and then i'll go with the sand no or should i put a bit more oh i'll go with the sand that's okay it'll just dull that white down a bit this sand is actually a really nice color instead of using white as a background like can get a bit like oh tedious using white or black as backgrounds all the time nice to go with something a little bit different sometimes I'm thinking maybe I should just leave it like that. Looks pretty nice. I actually, I didn't have in mind to do these. I was gonna do separate puddles and not colors over the top of them. So I've already, my mind's taken off on its own tangent and not done what I had planned. I planned in just doing the separate colors everywhere, not on top of each other. So I've probably stuffed up my idea already because crazy lady. So I'll just run around the outside to give it somewhere to push it to push the paint around to. So it might be the way it's meant to be. It might come out real good. Um, we will see. You can only get these things by trying, can't you say? So, Rightio. So I've got all my lovely colours in there. They actually look nice colours together. 
<coughs> and I'm going to, so I've got no gloves on or anything, I'm just playing with paint. I'm going to just give them a gentle tilt around the canvas, just nice and slow, because I don't want them to, oops, slow down, slow down. It's kind of looking a bit giraffish. I love giraffes, giraffes, zebras, love them. I love all animals actually, love them, They're so beautiful. I mean, if you wanted to leave this kind of poor exactly as it is, then, you know, do it. But I have to do what was in my head for this pour, which was to try and create those lovely um, cells in something very plain. So I did mix up some just plain black with no flow troll or nothing, and it worked beautifully. Uh, so normally I would use the Amsterdam black and Floetrol, but this was just the global black and my uh, glue pouring medium. So I just want to try a little tadly bit here to see what I get. I may get absolutely nothing, or I may get something. So just let me try. How is that? That is unbelievable. That was no flow troll. That's crazy. That was with that and my normal glue. No silicone, no nothing. I'm going to continue with that because that is beautiful. So very simple, isn't it? Very simple colours. <clears throat> Just enjoy the process. Just relax. Got a bit of a gooby bit there, but because it was an experiment, I'm not, you know, going to get worried about that at all. It's mixed media. It's got a chunky bit in it. Chunky bits are okay. Rightio, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. <gasps> the cells are unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow, wow, wow. Rightio, let's try this. Nice and steady, eddy. Oh, that is definitely could allow that to dry and do the silhouette of a giraffe in there. Because it's all the right colours, I guess. Look at that. Those cells come straight up without any heat. That's weird. That's totally weird. Oh, maybe the white maybe my white had some floetrol in it but anyway i am happy gin let me go over with my dougalaki i want to bring you down to have a look at these before i go doing my I mean, that looks beautiful as it is. I'll bring you down. <laughs> Look at these. Oh my goodness. How marvellous are they? So those simple colours, bronze, sand, white, and my champagne. That is made. 
absolutely gorgeous 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 so there was no Amsterdam color in that as all my global colors that is just divine wow I'm happy like I said you could absolutely let all that dry off and actually do the if you're good at freehand or use a stencil of your uh, giraffe in there look at that beautiful I know you're probably saying don't touch it don't do anything but remember I started this piece off as an experiment so I will plod on and do the next little bit oh, we're back again as I said I am I mean they're probably it is the same result except this was just showing you just each color on its own is that's what I intended on doing but because I did the puddles and mixed them I am really happy with that outcome though that's beautiful but I do want to do my balloons so if you don't like my balloon don't look now or um, yeah turn it off now <laughs> rightio let's give this I just wanted to see this when you've got very few colors in there they just give some gorgeous effects I've got a painting that I did before I even started doing videos and I just cannot do the same effect and I'm thinking that it may be um, yeah, that I because I only used very few colors so I'm just putting those actually I should actually put them onto plastic so as I can use them as um, and peel off so here we go look at that the bottom of that it's beautiful beautiful this is just my thing that I love to do look at the oh, so guys I'm just uh, dipping them onto this plastic so maybe when they dry I might be able to peel them off and use the skins of the acrylic on something else so I won't go overboard she said oh my goodness Look at that, so lovely, lovely jubbly. Just the effects, that's what it must be, how I got that look that I previously got that I just can't seem to, because there's very few colors, it creates a different effect in your balloon kiss. I just love it. I absolutely love the effect on your balloon. So I'll see if I can salvage those kisses afterwards. Just a little baby one there. Oh, that didn't work too well. No. Maybe just try my little balloon here. Actually, I know what I need. I need to pick some colour up and transfer it over. That is gorgeous. I do say so myself. And remember, it's your art room, your rules, your way. Just picking up a bit more of the paint out of the centre of that. But I'm pretty sure that it will absorb into the canvas. I'm going to let... Oh, yeah. yeah oh. Okay. That is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. So, I am absolutely... I've got to find... I will try to find the paint... No, I know where, exactly where it is. I'll find the painting that I try... I've tried... To replicate that I haven't been able to reproduce because I can't remember how I did it and I didn't have a video recorded of it so I'm gonna bring you down to have a look at this one
Just look at this. How gorgeous is that? The effect. I like got them absolutely u beaut super duper cells and this awesome effect in it how good would that look on a huge canvas the colors that it's picked up in there oh, i couldn't be more happier with that oh you must give this a go people because it's so rewarding so that was just the swiped with the black mixed up as my normal and I think that but I'm not sure because I maybe I add the flow troll in the white that I added super duper happy with that so I hope you do too look at these super duper love it okie doke my lovely people thanks so much for listening to me jib jibber jabber jibber jabber on you just take care um of yourselves and i hope to see you tomorrow please join me on here every single day if you haven't subscribed please do so it's absolutely free but it helps me so thank you so much bye for now This was the one I was trying to replica, replicate, replica. I did, <coughs> I did this not on video and before I was even doing videos uh, for YouTube. So I cannot for the life of me remember what products I used but I just love it. It has got a shiny coat it was uh, meant for someone and then the coat coating that I put on it at the time I think was didn't see all turned out weird but somebody said that I could just rub it back and reapply but I just love that one so much um, yeah so that was my little try at replicating that particular paw so I mean, I did it in different colours, obviously, so I must try these colours. But as you can see, I only used a few colours in this one. And I know that I used uh, Burnt Umber to swipe. Okay, that's the birds. Alrighty. So I just wanted to show you what I was going on about. <laughs> 